Now, Baker Mayfield, of course, had a pretty dramatic end to his time as a Cleveland Brown, the former number one overall pick, rookie of the year, led... He broke the rookie record for touchdowns in a single season, uh, and this guy was set to be the next big thing, not only in Cleveland, but in the entire National Football League. The saddest part about the Baker Mayfield story, though, and I say sad relatively, of course, but the saddest part about this entire story is that it wasn't necessarily anything Baker did wrong. Now, there's character stuff that I think is legitimate when we're talking about can this guy get along with certain teammates? Can he get along with star teammates? We saw that was a problem with Odell Beckham Jr. We saw rumblings from the Cleveland Browns locker room that he might have been a, not necessarily a problem, but his personality may have rubbed people the wrong way, and he overall got tiresome, which I agree with. Viewing it from afar, I could very easily see why, as a teammate of Baker Mayfield, I could grow tiresome of some, of not his antics, but just the way he carries himself. No one wants someone who's going to be as vocal to the media about his teammates' mistakes. No one wants someone who is going to be as, as almost, and I don't think Baker meant to be, but almost condescending in certain situations as Baker Mayfield can come across as. No one wants that guy as their teammate. So he go so the Browns they make the trade for Deshaun Watson which you could argue downgrade at this point with the way things are looking we'll talk about that in a little bit but they make the trade for Deshaun Watson Baker is now out the door it took a long time for them to find a way to trade him they ended up trading him away for a fifth round pick to the Carolina Panthers now the Browns are stuck without the guy who actually got them a playoff win last year by the way the first quarterback in Browns in this Browns history, uh, that was able to get them a playoff win. So Baker is now Cleveland, or Baker is now a Carolina Panther. There's a lot of pressure on Baker Mayfield to go out there and perform, and not just perform for himself, but for his team. The Panthers are a team that are one more losing season away from blowing everything up again in a rebuild that really never materialized in the way that the, I don't think the GM. The fans nor ownership wanted it to be. They get rid of Cam Newton, and the theory is give it a few years with Matt Rule, you're going to be fine. You're going to eventually contend for the playoffs. The Carolina Panthers have been the epitome of mediocrity in the National Football League over the last number of years. And it has primarily been because they have had no inspiring play at quarterback. I'm sorry, Teddy Bridgewater. I'm sorry, Sam Darnold. I'm sorry, Cam Newton, again. But they have not had the guy under center who can light a fire under this team, who can play well enough to put this team in positions to win. Now, do I think Baker Mayfield can be that guy? I absolutely do. I think Baker Mayfield can, keyword can, lead the Panthers to the playoffs this year. Think about it. The qu- the question of Baker Mayfield was never about his talent, right? Is he an elite quarterback? No. Is he a good quarterback? Hell yes. Baker Mayfield is a really is a good quarterback who can be a really good quarterback at times and who when the game is on the line, I think you can trust to put your team in the right position to win. I really do think that. Now, whether or not It materializes in Carolina, doesn't necessarily just depend on him. It depends on the rest of the team, but more importantly, it depends on Matt Rule. Matt Rule, I feel like, is someone who's been skating by over the last number of years and and just finding a way to get away from criticism. He's found a way to escape this criticism, escape the scrutiny that other coaches have had, that other players have had thrown at them. Nobody talks about how Matt Rule took over this team with all these expectations and nothing materialized. They've gone, what, seven and eight, or sorry, seven and nine, seven and ten, whatever, every year. They've been towards the top of the draft, but not high enough in the draft to be able to get a quarterback. Baker Mayfield 
don't get me wrong. He has his word cut out for him. And he has a, and he has a good amount to prove because if Baker Mayfield does not work out in Carolina, if he goes out there and doesn't perform well, and I'm not saying he needs to make the playoffs, but Baker Mayfield needs to can't be the reason that this team is held back. Baker Mayfield can't be can't play and 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 show up and perform underwhelmingly. Baker Mayfield needs to go out there and show that not only can he play, he can be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Look at his peers from that 2018 draft. Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold. The fall from grace is not only pretty ungraceful, but it's also quick. 2018 was not that long ago. Four years ago, we were talking about Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, two of the top three picks in the draft, being legendary players in this league. We were talking the same thing about someone like Josh Rosen, the next Aaron Rodgers, they said. Yet, who are the quarterbacks that performed, that have performed the best from that draft? It's Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, no question. The quarterbacks who were, who were yeah, they're top five in that draft, but they were the last two. Every single time, every single sheet you saw, every single ranking you saw, Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen were four and five, maybe in a different order. Baker Mayfield, he's not as good as Lamar Jackson. He's not as good as uh, Josh Allen. But he doesn't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean that he is as bad as Sam Darnold, that he is as bad as Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen is probably at this point as bad as I am at playing quarterback in the NFL. I kid, of course, but let's be honest. Hey, everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.